money luxury fame sometimes blind people so much that they start ignoring their roots and foundation people start living in a fragile bubble that eventually pops one day and shatters everything for the person sometimes these people come back again building from the scratches sometimes they just get lost and are never found long run a paradise augmented by t sathis is an inspirational story of a man who blinded by success loses everything but makes a comeback overcoming all the hurdles today as the title of this video says i am going to review this book revealing as little as possible so that i don't ruin the fun for people who haven't read it yet so without any further delay we are going to start but before moving forward welcome or welcome back to book island if you are new here well I am your bookish pal Juhi and here I post book related contents now without any further ado let me begin with the review In 2002 author T Sathis actually watched an interview on CNBC of a visually challenged stock trader the interview made a strong impression on him when he was thinking about writing his second book this person came to his mind and he decided to write a story with a visually challenged investment manager as the protagonist thus the character of raghu was created the author confirms all these in the acknowledgement section of the book long run a paradise augmented let me first tell you what the book is all about long run a paradise augmented is a story of a middle class man who gained success in the stock market and earned a luxurious life in his 20s blinded by his glamorous new successful life he starts ignoring his close and loved ones who soon seem burdens to him but a sudden car crash actually pops the bubble he has been living and throws him to bitter realities of life taking his eyesight as well as making him a handicapped the overturned car and life bring realization guilt repentance as well as depression Will Raghu be able to make a comeback? Will he be able to repair all the damages of his past actions? Can his spirit support him to face the challenges to earn respect as well as the success he has lost? I am going to stop here. To no more please read the book. Now coming to my thoughts on the book. The book drops light on the fact why work life balance is important. To me besides being a successful person career wise, one must prioritize personal life because it supports you not only in your bright days but also in your darker ones. The book provides valuable insights in financial markets. It provides a bird's eye view of situations of financial markets of different times. The author has in-depth knowledge of the stock market. It demands praise. Actually, if you have a marketing and finance background, this book is going to be an outstanding read for you because some events and words related to financial markets have been used and mentioned in the book for example the dot com boom so you will be able to connect more if you are not from a finance and marketing background that's fine too because simple google searches are enough to understand those the author actually explains beautifully few of you may find the financial market background and details excessive but this actually forms the realistic canvas of the story it contributes to dropping the focus on the fact that the protagonist is a highly ambitious person who is trying to overcome the hurdles of real life now coming to the characterization of the book characterization really demands praise highly ambitious raghu 
डाउन टू अर्थ राम सपोर्ट इव अनु केयरिंग मेघना एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग पेरेंट्स आर पोर्ट्रेट क्वाइट ब्यूटिफुली I liked how the author has spun the fine threads of relationships in just a few words. The contrast between Ram and Raghu is also wonderfully presented. Music plays an important role in the book. Sometimes the minds of characters interact through music. Sometimes it's a composition of Kishore Kumar, sometimes Beatles. The author sometimes uses onomatopoeic words to emphasize the atmosphere. The book uses regional phrases like da and they which contributes to its regional native flavor. I have many more things to share about this book but before moving forward I want to tell you that as you have enjoyed more than half of this bookish video I assume that you are going to enjoy my future bookish contents. So, please subscribe to enjoy my book related videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever I post a bookish video, it just knocks your phone. And 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 if you are enjoying this video, Please hit the like because it really encourages me to create fresh new contents. Now back to my thoughts on the book. The book sometimes provides philosophical rights. For example, at one time the author compares waves of the sea with market and life. Some waves are small, some are big, but waves keep coming and life never ceases to be. Now coming to the features of the text. 95% of the book is told from the perspective of Raghu, the protagonist. So we get the entire psychological portrait of his mind. Rest 5% in the beginning and end is written from the first person perspective of Anjali, who being a financial market correspondent in the eco financial times goes to cover Raghu's story, the protagonist's story. There are 25 chapters. Each chapter begins with a date. The timeline of the book is not linear. The time shifts with each chapter. This actually makes the book more vibrant and dynamic. It actually keeps fact to itself to grab your full attention. This trait actually provides a wonderful twist in the end that makes you go numb. The language of the book is easy and conversational. It has around 200 pages. Writing style is straightforward. It is an inspirational, motivational, engaging read that can boost your spirit to never bend down to the hurdles of life. It is available in Kindle Unlimited for free. Recently, I have gotten Kindle Unlimited. So you are going to get reviews of books that are available there. And this book review is actually one such example. Here we end today. That's all for today. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to share this video with your book one friends. I shall be meeting you with another book related video. Till then, bye bye. Abar dekha hobe.